Good morning, Professor. Over the past number of years, we have seen the recent trends that the number of international students in UCD has been on the rise, and a course curriculum like analog integrated circuit in our course module. Why do you think this is very important for UCD, Ireland, and all over the world? It is uh, very important for Ireland in particular because of the large size of uh, IC microelectronic circuit design companies. Uh, the number of companies that we have in Ireland is quite large, it's over 50. Uh, they are all formally uh, associated uh, in, uh, in, in several organizations, so we can count them, uh, we know uh, who the members are. And let's face it, Ireland uh, as a country is basically oversized for microelectronics industry. It's basically too big uh, for its, uh, its population. The population is only 5 million, but it appears uh, as if we have a mini, mini Silicon Valley uh, here in uh, Ireland. Uh, and the companies uh, basically need uh, circuit designers. They need uh, engineers that can design uh, integrated circuits uh, from the time they join the companies. And uh, there are no such uh, core in the country. So we have uh, companies like uh, Intel, Xilinx, uh, Semiconductors, in addition to uh, 50 others that uh, hire very talented, uh, very good engineers uh, who are well trained in basics uh, in the circuit design in general, but they are not trained in IC design. They don't know how to use the tools, they don't know how to go through the process. And the companies have to invest uh, between six months and one year in training these, uh, these, 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 these people. And in the meanwhile, when they go through the training, uh, they are not really contributing to the existing projects, to basically the bottom line. And the companies uh, over here, they are large multinational companies in addition to small uh, startup companies, and they have to compete internationally. And they cannot really afford uh, to wait and uh, watch while the uh, newly hired employees uh, are getting trained and they're getting ready uh, to compete internationally. So this course basically gives them all the necessary tools, all the necessary way of thinking when they uh, get hired by uh, these uh, companies. They hit the road, uh, so to speak. They will be ready, they will be productive uh, from day one. Uh, to contribute to the company's bottom line. So this is very important uh, strategically in order to maintain uh, the I I Irish competitiveness in microelectronics industry. And I bet you didn't know that Ireland exports more in IC uh, chips than it exports agriculturally. So, so this industry is more important to Ireland than even agriculture industry. Great. Speaking about formal placements and internships, that's a recent trend here, like when they take up a master's course over here. So, you talked a lot about the industry, so how do you think that this course has a close conjugation with the industry, in terms of research or maybe in terms of learning as well? Yeah, so there are two aspects. Uh, there are students uh, who are uh, industry-oriented, and uh, there is a research both industry-oriented and, uh, and academic and also uh, more kind of research, more diving into the fundamentals of uh, circuit design. So this course basically addresses both of them, right? It gives you enough uh, background uh, to uh, be able to design circuits on your own, to be very attractive to uh, these large multinational companies as well as startup companies and go and proverbially hit the road uh, from the day one. But also uh, it gives you this, uh, this uh, enough background material to continue to use as a foundation uh, for further research, right? Then you can uh, continue uh, taking, for example, doing the research in uh, RF design, the advanced analog design, uh, data converters design, the system level data converters design, uh, and so on. And this is intimately tied with, uh, with uh, the placement, the work placement uh, that we have, uh, internship, um, because um, it gives an overview and it makes uh, the students uh, basically attractive to the companies that uh, would like to uh, check them out uh, uh, directly working uh, in the field of designing circuits. So when the students have a very good experience in uh, the overall circuit theory, they can go, for example, and contribute to uh, the company's testing plans, right? They can do testing, they can do some kind of, uh, some kind of peripheral ro roads. 
but uh, there are some students who are not interested in these peripheral roles. They say basically want to be a part of the uh, mainstream uh, circuit design. And if they don't take this course, then it will be difficult for the company to justify inclusion in these groups simply because they need to go too much through the learning process and in order to uh, to, to be taken seriously by the uh, by the uh, senior uh, circuit designers in the company. UCD is a research intensive university and uh, we see a broad range of research topics that uh, that's been continuously highlighted in UCD. So can you talk specifically about your particular area of research activities? Yeah, in my group uh, we uh, continue with the research in uh, mixed signal, analog and RF circuit design. Uh, obviously there are lots of changes uh, especially going on in the, in the, in the world. Uh, in this field, uh, especially with going to uh, finer uh, feature size process technologies. Um, uh, we are going to now to FinFET designs, uh, which had 16 nanometer, 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer nodes, uh, which Intel and uh, TSMC uh, has been pioneering. And uh, these, this new technology basically requires new approaches. So the old way of thinking uh, of how to design the circuits, which uh, got formulated about 20, 30 years ago, are kind of not very applicable to uh, nowadays technology. So when the companies like uh, Xilinx or Intel uh, hire the engineers, they work on FinFET processes. And there is no uh, current through the research at universities uh, in these in this areas. So this research is very important in order to bridge this gap between uh, what's going on in industry and uh, what is academia is doing. Otherwise, if we don't do this, uh, this gap will widen and then um, basically there will be two different worlds, right? There will be industry world uh, completely living separately from academia and academia won't be able to help anything. And then uh, if that happens, then the progress of uh, microelectronic circuit design uh, will be in question. Perfect. Finally, do you have any message for a prospective international student? Uh, the message is uh, IC design is very attractive. Um, it's multi multidisciplinary area. Uh, it involves digital design, analog circuit design, radio frequency design, also, millimeter wave design. Some people tackle terahertz, uh, terahertz uh, circuit design. It involves the theory, like telecommunication theory, you know, uh, information theory, coding theory. Uh, you need to understand a bit about uh, process technologies. So you need to understand device physics, uh, quantum processes, and and so on. Uh, and of course, you don't have to know all of this because there is not a single person that understands all of these fields. But you can pick and choose. You can pick uh, two fields. For example, you can pick. You can be an expert, uh, main expert in uh, let's say analog circuit design, and then you can be a minor expert in uh, communication theory. So you can uh, basically combine the two fields. And, uh, and, and come up with novel ways of doing these things. And uh, this is very exciting because there is no uh, boundary, the sky is the limit, if you will, for how do you combine these two, the, these two things. And the same thing happens in, uh, in industry. So there are lots of opportunities and the jobs are plentiful and the jobs are among the highest paid jobs uh, among electrical engineers. So uh, the students uh, are going to have a good life and uh, it's a hard work obviously. I'm not going to fool anybody uh, to, uh, to learn everything but it can be extremely well, uh, uh, rewarding from both personal satisfaction and also financial satisfaction. Thanks a lot for your time professor. You're welcome.